Good morning children. Today we shall learn more about the bar charts which we already know. Let's again take the example which we used for the bar charts. There is a park in the society and the society did a survey and made a chart that showed the number of children who came to the park at four different times on Sunday. Based on the given data at 10 a.m. 15 children were there in the park. At 1 p.m. only 4 children were there. At 4 p.m. 25 children were playing in the park. And at 6 p.m. 36 children were there. We already know how to make a bar chart. So let's do it again. Look, here we use a bar chart to represent the number of children at different times in the park. Say at 10 a.m. 15 children were there which is represented by the pink bar. At 1 p.m. there were how many children? 4 children represented by yellow bar. At 4 p.m. 25 children were there represented by brown bar and at 6 p.m. 36 children were there which we represent using a blue bar. If you noticed we used bars which are of uniform width to represent the data that is the length of bar here represents the number of children and its width is uniform. Thus, the length of bar in each case indicates the number of children in the park at different times. And if you notice, we have also placed the bars at equal distance. 5. Now, the data was also collected for Saturday, which was also a holiday for many children. So here we see at 10 a.m. 10 children were there, at 1 p.m. 2 children were there, at 4 p.m. 30 children were there and at 6 p.m. 32 children were there in the park on Saturday. Again we use a bar chart to represent this data. Here Again, the length of bar indicates the number of children in the park at different times. 10 children at 10 a.m., 2 children at 1 p.m., 30 at 4 p.m., and 32 at 6 p.m. If we wish to compare the data for two days, then what to do? How to compare the number of children in the park on different days? Is it possible to represent the data of both the days on a common graph? This way it will be easy to see and also to compare. So how to represent both the data on a common graph? You know bar graphs or the bar charts can also have double bars. Let's use double bars to show the number of children at different times on Saturday and Sunday on the same chart. Look, this way of representing data is called double bar chart as we have used double bars for each data adjacent to each other without any gap. That is, number of children at different times in the park on Saturday and number of children at different times in the park on Sunday. Look carefully at the two adjacent bars. The first bar having checks represents the number of children at different times in the park on Saturday and the second bar which is plain in color represents the number of children 
at different times in the park on Sunday. So, if you see, we have placed the double bars adjacent to each other and we also used uniform width bars placed at equal distance. Thus, this graph or chart gives the comparative number of children at different times in the park over two day period. Using this double bar chart, can you tell on what day and time the maximum number of kids were there in the park? If we observe carefully, it can be easily seen that the bar with maximum length represents the maximum number of children. So, it is this plain blue bar and blue represents the data for Sunday. And now, at what time? See the time on the horizontal line. It shows 6 p.m. So, we can say the maximum number of children were there in the park on Sunday at 6 p.m. And what was the number of children? It was equal to 36. Understood? Now, seeing this double bar chart, can you tell on what day and time the minimum number of kids were there in the park? See, the bar with yellow color in checks, it has the least length. So, it was Saturday. And what is its value? Its value is 2. And what's the time? The time is 1 p.m. So, we can say the least number of children were in the park at 1 p.m. on Saturday. So, now you know double bar chart is an interesting way to represent and compare data. To reiterate, we used double bars of uniform width adjacent to each other without any gap to represent the data. And the length of bar indicates the value of data. For example, here it represents the number of children in the park at different times. And don't forget, we have placed the bars at equal distance. That's all for now. Bye-bye children.